going the distance to save the lives of children. You're going to be looked after today. Watch the Herbie Fund, a world of difference, all this week on City News in partnership with American Express Global Business Travel. Tonight, part four of our Herbie Fund series. You've already met the twin boys, Aaron and Adrian, from the Philippines. Tonight, you're going to see them again, this time, though, with a completely different look. Their facial deformity severely affects their ability to breathe. This means a substantial weight gain and also a great deal of stress on their hearts and other vital organs. And as Dr. Chris Forrest told us, unless the situation is corrected, the boys will die from complications. Tonight, meet the new Aaron and Adrian wearing their special but temporary headgear. How are you? Nice to see you. They've been doing okay? Yeah. yeah. It's been two months since Aaron and Adrian underwent highly complex surgery. Let's have a look at you. We checked in with them while they reconnect with surgeon Dr. Chris Forrest. So I think they've grown a little bit, but I think they've got a little thinner. Just gonna make a turn here, Aaron. Surgery for the twins meant rearranging the bones in their faces. They then were fitted with devices called a halo, which had to be adjusted each day to slowly move the bones into proper position. Don't be laughing at the picture because I'm in it, okay? <laughs> the effects were immediate. Now they can breathe and sleep properly. And they're tolerating these devices. Everything is nice and clean, so you're doing a wonderful job. They'll spend another month wearing the headgear, but mom says the boys are already delighted with their new look. They keep on saying to themselves, oh no, what happened to my face? I look so handsome already. Children come from all over the world to get the one-time surgeries they need through your donations to the Herbie Fund. These are surgeries they cannot get in their home countries. Precious is a two-year-old girl who uh, was born very blue, you have very low oxygen levels. and. Uh, oh, oh. If you don't treat these, 100% um, would die at some point uh, during childhood, so it's a very dangerous condition. She's had a mild sedative at this point. She's not sure how to blow the bubbles. She's getting a little sleepy. We're going to go for a ride, okay? Okay, time to go. Parents are not permitted to enter the sterile area near the operating theaters. She is. But the staff always takes good care of the little ones on this part of the journey. And as Precious is put under anesthetic, we're there to lend a comforting hand. If we can get a successful repair today and get through this operative window, the uh, outlook is actually now extremely good. Um, uh, the minute you finish surgery, the blue child suddenly becomes pink, and that's why it's quite a remarkable operation to see. And uh, the parents notice it straight away as well, which is why it's very gratifying. You spent it all on your new shoes. Marion, like her friend Precious, came to Toronto from Uganda to fix a hole in her heart. Yay! If it's not fixed soon, her heart will suffer permanent damage. <laughs> she says she would love to see that heart. <laughs> it's about this big. <laughs> if she could be allowed in to see her daughter's heart. <laughs> we'll be there. She is very happy and very grateful and she hopes that more children will also be helped in the same way just like her daughter has been helped. Since 1979, the Herbie Fund has connected over 750 children from over 100 countries with the best pediatric medical professionals in the world at the Hospital for Sick Children. They donate their time. The associated medical costs are covered by your donations to the Herbie Fund. Ah! You, know, it's big. you guys don't know how much we are so, so much grateful and thankful every single thing that is going to be done and, and is doing for Jaden. We are so thankful. Hey Jaden, how are you doing? Hey, I'm always just on my hand. Jaden is from the Caribbean island of St. Kitts. He was born with no anus. His father managed to track down a surgeon to perform an emergency colostomy. But that was all that could be done. So we'll not do anything to the colostomy now? Yes. We'll do the operation at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. With the help of the Herbie Fund and the medical team at Sick Kids Hospital, the family arrived in Canada for the complex surgery that will allow little Jaden to live a normal life. Ah! Ah! It's going to be okay. 
Take care of him, okay? Um, we managed anyway to pull the rectum down and make a proper open. Little Jaden's surgery is a success. <laughs> this is great news. Very good news, very good news. Dr. Piero, who volunteered his skills, feels it was totally worth it. Having the opportunity to, to have this fix is a fantastic uh, gift that they have. And uh, I'm very honored and proud to be part of this organization. Whenever you watch this program, just bless, just bless, just give. Just give to this, this foundation because they deserve it. They're doing a great job for yeah. children all over the world. Yeah. Did you want to watch? Tomorrow night in the final episode, we'll check in with all the kids you've seen in this series this week, all of whom can look forward to normal, healthy lives thanks to your support of the Herbie Fund. You can make a donation by going to theherbiefund.com. Please bring the kids and join us Sunday at the Toronto Zoo for a walk for the children. Free parking, a barbecue, free toys for the kids, and of course the animals. Registration for the walk starts at 8.30 in the morning. I'll see you there. Helping children from around the world is now as easy as putting one foot in front of the other. One, two, three, let's go! Join Walk for the Children in support of the Herbie Fund at Sick Kids. Sunday, August 24th at the Toronto Zoo. Enjoy a 5K walk and a day of fun for the family. Jump up. Proceeds support life-saving surgeries for children from around the world. She just wants to be a normal kid. Register at walkforthechildren.ca and begin fundraising today.